the Boer War. Was, was it just that it wasn't very entertaining? What? what? What's happening? <laughs> was it just a whole lot of dull people stabbing each other? Wait, what are you talking about? The Boer, the Boer War. <laughs> what we, the, we've never done the Boer War. What the Boer the War? What's the Boer War? The Boer War was before the First World War, and it was in South Africa. Boer? B-O-R-E. Oh. I don't think it's B-O-R. Maybe it's B-O-H-R. It could be B-O-A-R. What, what is it, Aaron? B-O-E-R. B-O-E-R. Oh, there was yeah. a second Boer War, too. Is that, do you say Boer? Yeah, yeah the Boer War. Ah, the okay. Boer War. It's like a big war. There's two of them. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I don't know about Australia these. fought in there, England fought in there in the yeah. Boer War. <laughs> if America ain't involved, I don't care. I thought you just were going Boer War. <laughs> no, the I Boer the Boer War. I thought it was gonna be like the yeah, Evil War, where Australia was trying to kill all the Boers. No, it was something. I don't know what happened. It was something in South Africa. Am I right, Aaron? I have a, the second Boer War was also known as the Boer War, the Anglo Boer <laughs> War, or the Boer. South African War was a conflict Boer. between the British Empire and the two Boer republics over the empire's influence in South Africa from 1899 to 1902. Right, so this is basically white people getting into South Africa. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not good. Nah, that's a bad. <laughs> Boer War looks pretty bad. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Um, I have uh, welts on me still. Yeah, we went paintballing. Yep. And, uh, oh yeah, how'd that go? Look, I still have one there. My, look at that one. That Woo! And then there, but I got one. Got I got one. Jim mostly. I shot him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Jim mostly, but to to be fair, one time I was drawing you to me so you could get killed, but I thought I would still survive. Yeah, yeah but, <laughs> but it hurts there when was, you think. There, there was the the kid, Some of the kids were being a bit mean about Forrest at one stage, you know, like because yeah, we were doing like they were being mean. They, no, they, they were not. Me, they didn't want me on the team. All great were, uh, kids, all great kids, right? yeah. really nice kids. But we're we're about to go Very out. And we're, we're doing like we get one adult on each team yeah. type of thing. Some of the adults, I thought one of the parents would play, but they're like, no, I don't want to be hurt. Right, so we get out there, and then Forrest is on team like this, and then I'm like, "All right, I'll be on a team with Hank and this kid and that kid and that." And then they're like, "Because oh, I was doing quite well. I, yeah. I, it turns out I'm a handy paintballer. I am. I was doing all right. I've got no welts on me. Killed a lot of people. So now you like guns? Yeah, yeah. And uh, and the kids are like this, and you get Forrest, and they're like this, and then they're trying to convince the other team like this. You know, when you're a kid. Yeah. No, he's really good. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got good aim. I'll tell you what. Yeah, but he moves really slowly. No, no, he's got good aim. His strategy is really good. <laughs> <laughs> but here's how quickly little kids will change their mind. So I, I played the first round. You play like three rounds within like a round, right? Like, yeah. And then the sec my, my knee's still messed up. So I was like, I got to sit out the second one. So I was moving slow. So the third one, we go do it. And the very first one, remember, it's just me and you survived. We were yeah. looking for each other. We didn't get each other. So all the kids are dead, except me and Jim are just looking for each other. And there's a referee and he blows the whistle like, all right, that's time. So we walk over and then... Uh, the two the two kids that were on my team are following me and they're like we're gonna follow you because you're really good at this like and all of a sudden now I'm good at it because I survived, yeah, like, survived they flipped yeah. they're like this guy knows what he's doing I'm like don't follow me dude we watched one <laughs> bad you, you, went, you went at this one but there was like there was like the guys who play paintball every weekend I saw it like a fight oh, a fight break out amongst oh, them yeah, oh jeez and there was this is the guy who's like so confident he doesn't even wear predictive clothes he just wears like a uh, Larry Bird Boston Celtics uh, singlet yeah oh, God. and uh, shorts and he's out there shooting people like this and he had long hair and he ran through and then he slid in he went boom 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 and he's like i shot you dude dude i shot you and you still shot me back and then the guy's like no i shot you first and he's like after i blew off your fucking face buddy <laughs> and this, this guy's like in his 40s right this after i blew up your fucking face <laughs> then you shot me come on 1v1 who wants to see it? <laughs> Who wants to fucking see it? I didn't and see I, that. Me, the, the, me and the kids were all sitting back. I was with a whole 11 year old. I was like, I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people well, like that won. out there, though. I didn't see that incident, but uh, there were so many people out there that I was like, what the? Like full fatigues, like canteens. It's like you can't even take your mask off to drink. You don't need a can. Like you couldn't even drink out of the canteen if you wanted to. So you're just carrying it as dead yeah. weight. They're yeah. out there like like when you're on the playing field and stuff. Paint grenades. Yeah, paint grenades. Oh, wow. It's like uh, I watched um, a YouTube video. Is like these Navy SEALs went uh, played paintball against just normal people. And Navy SEALs just wrecked people. In like of course, five it was like five seconds. Yeah. They just went, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like, okay. You know what else was funny was like, they would be like, all right, you can't go on the second levels of certain things. And then remember, Jim was like, uh, 
can we go on this bus? And the guy said, no, there's a lot of glass and nails in there. You're like, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah, there's is a lot this? of broken buses and rusty nails. So <laughs> yeah. Don't go in the bus. Uh, yeah. like, <laughs> and you're like, what, why wouldn't you just sweep that out? This is a whole thing about the whole thing. You run around like, don't yeah, have rusty. Dave hasn't gotten around to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I said it to him. I was like, it's the most, most disorganized, organized place you'll go to. It feels like everything's about to oh, just it's fall a, apart. Oh, it's a hell of a business. It's, fun. It was it's, fun. It's, it's got and, lots of big maps. It's a, it's a big place. Where is it? Bellflower. Bellflower. It's like yeah, it's, it's Hollywood, it's Hollywood, a little bit inland Hollywood from, uh, sports uh, paintball. Yeah, it was something else. It's got like a Mad Max map. And it used to be it used to be a driving and, range. So the driving yeah. range area they made into like seven or eight mazes. Cool. And they have like a couple other ones over here. So they have this huge and you walk down like this tunnel and they have like all they have like one of them has inflatables. Another one has like old like structures and stuff in it. There's like old beaten cool. up cars to hide behind yeah. and things like that. It's cool. It's very fun. It was really fun. It was it, it, if I was a little kid and had a birthday, I would have fun. But all the kids did go through a cycle of each one had a moment where they're like, ah, yeah, yeah, that's a little hard. When you when you <laughs> shot him, it does hurt as yeah, well. Yeah. But the kids yeah. are funny. It's funny. You shoot him in the arm. They hold their arm. Oh, yeah. oh. and then you go you're all right you're right and they go oh, i'm okay and they always limp away yeah, yeah and i'm like i shot you in the arm man <laughs> why are you limping because <laughs> now when you're a kid that's like the i'm injured walk yeah yeah oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um this week is thanksgiving actually oh, um, oh jingle nice. bell thanksgiving thanksgiving rock I'm doing a traditional Thanksgiving this year because my wife wants to. I normally do an untraditional Thanksgiving and then a traditional Christmas, which is the same meal as Thanksgiving in the rest of the world. Uh, I don't like double down on turkey. I'm not a big fan. I think it's, it's a month a, apart. It's a so yeah, but it's so it's a. But my wife has someone coming over to cook. One of her friends who's a good cook, and uh, we're having the big turkey. Forrest isn't going to be with us this year. Going to your hometown, Atlanta. Uh, you going to Atlanta? Yeah, I'm going to Atlanta. Will you uh, be? In, you'll be in Atlanta. No, I'll be Let's here party, bro. My own Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get a Popeye's turkey. Uh, the week right. after this. You always get a Popeye's turkey. Yeah, because it's great. The week after this, you'll be at the uh, uh, December 1st, my birthday, and December 2nd, you'll be in Tyson's, Virginia. <gasps> West for Tyson. Right near D.C., right near Washington, oh. D.C., about 20 minutes outside of there, 25 minutes. And then the week after that, you're at the Mirage, December 8th and 9th in Las Vegas. We and then love the new year, you've got all sorts of dates. Baltimore, Boston, Sacramento, India, Baltimore. Des Moines, Kansas City, South Africa, Spokane, Denver, so on. Go to jimjeffries.com. They're Spokane, all Spokane, Denver. Well, they're all the towns. And go to uh, ID Cat Podcast on IG. Follow us on there. And uh, you can see clips from the podcast. And we used to put extra stuff in there. We should do that again. Yeah. Yeah, put my paintball welts on there. Um, <laughs> paintball welts. Go to foreshot.net. I got a bunch of shows coming up. Also be in Vegas in January at the Comedy Cellar. But follow me in there and listen you're to my other the, podcast. You're not doing the December gigs? I am. Oh. But I'm saying my own gigs, you know. Uh, uh, and listen to my other podcast, the Merman Podcast. Merman! The Merman, not Merman. Merman Podcast. Download it, listen to it, subscribe. Yeah, you can't see Write nasty comments. they got tails that have penises. Yeah. If anyone's trans, it's the mermaid community. Yeah. I think there's something a little bit fishy about him. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Now let's meet our guest. Please welcome Catherine Monroe. G'day, Catherine. Now it's time to play. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Judging a book by its cover. Yeah. Um, uh, She's a repeat guest, Catherine. Uh, really? Oh, God. We've had a lot of guests. She came to your show in Zurich. Oh, yeah, we just met. Yeah, we just met. Okay. Um, and so, Zurich, what was the bloody... That's right. What was the topic that we did? Okay. You remember? <laughs> yeah, you remember Zurich? Yeah, I remember yeah, Zurich. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. sexy dialect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I think when we interviewed her last, when we had her on the podcast last, she was in Austria, correct? Right, yeah. None of this will help you. Yes, yes. No, I, I always because I can remember. I can remember the one in Germany that we did with the with the fetish sex worker, that's and not, I know that's not. Her. I know that's not. This, this isn't that's her. Dasa. That was Dasa. yeah. So I can't make that mistake. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, Very different. Very I, rem different I remember. I remember. What was the bloody topic? Yeah. Give me a hint. What the old one was? And I'll Don't do have to give you a hint, but you did say that I was going to kill everyone, and I haven't yet. So. Oh, AI. 
Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. uh, we're talking about chatbots today. <laughs> yeah, I don't know a lot about this. I stay away from it because I don't want the Terminators coming. Yeah, sure. Well, we're going to we're gonna talk about it. I really that. believe that. I'm not, like, joking. I, no, think, I know, I know. I think AI is bad people, news, people believe that. man. Bad news. We should stop it. I thought once we got with the internet, once we got past online banking and Netflix, they should have shut the whole thing down. <laughs> okay well Catherine monroe is a data scientist and data science ambassador with a background in computational linguistics and natural language processing she's a speaker teacher and co-author of the handbook of data science and ai um and uh it's available on amazon and she also uses her blog and twitter account to talk about all things data science ai and our future with technology you can find her on social media on Twitter or X, whatever you like to call it now, Catherine A. Munro. It's M U N R O. Uh, on Medium, at Catherine A. Munro. And Substack blog. She has a Substack blog. It's Beyond the Buzzwords, and it's Catherine Munro. Substack, substack dot com. Uh, tell us a little bit more about your book, what that is the handbook of data science and AI. Yeah, um, I'm the editor and co-author. I wrote the chapter on natural language processing, and it's basically just a practical, pretty broad spectrum look at everything about getting value out of data for, yeah, lots of different audience levels. And uh, yeah, you should totally go out and buy it and find out more for yourself. What, okay. was, what was the other podcast? What was that one? AI. That was AI. So this one's not AI? Chatbots. Chatbots. Like chat GPT. I don't know what that is. Yeah, uh -oh. We've done it before. Where I know that people type things in and kids are cheating on exams because they're getting people to write their essays there for you them. Go. Yeah, but you, I don't you ask know how, questions and it I don't know answers. how to find it or anything. Uh, we've done it on the road a couple of times. Yeah, but other there. people have done that for me. Yeah, okay, well, we'll see. I know there's a lot of photos of me is like, like Amos sits there Amos and goes, does, yeah. here's a picture of you as a gladiator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And it's the thing is because like it's never a photo of me at my best. It, it seems to always like even out my weight. <laughs> yeah. It, no. It, it probably averages all the averages photos that all, exist. Yeah. all the photos. Yeah. So I'm like sort of like why am I always little like a little puffy? <laughs> why did, why does AI want to mock me so? <laughs> it gives you a lot of your old facial hair like from yeah. the FX red carpet days. It was like yeah. I, I got yeah I got a little bit of facial hair. Well, I'm gonna ask you some questions. We can talk about whether it's gonna to kill you or not later if you want and like my hairlines in between yeah <laughs> um i'm gonna ask jim a series of questions about chatbots Catherine. you're at the end of him answering you're gonna grade them as accuracy zero through ten uh it's killing us all man <laughs> uh jack's gonna grade him on a, a, uh confidence i'm gonna grade him on how hungry i am and we'll add those scores together i don't even know what this is jack i asked jack to do the categories what's what's cortana that's the Microsoft oh. uh, assistant that was based off a of Halo. 20, I don't have any of these 20, assistants in my house. 20, I don't ask. Good, I don't Jack. ask anybody anything in my house. Twenty-one through thirty, your Cortana. There you go. Eleven Cortana. through twenty, Siri. You they're, know Siri. they're fucking listening to you, man. Zero through ten, Clippy. You know Clippy. I know Clippy. <laughs> yeah. Clippy's from Microsoft. Yeah, Clippy sucks. <laughs> Clippy's all right. Clippy at least came up to your assist you every now and again. <laughs> Clippy was just a simple tool that's like, ah, you missed a comma. I'm Clippy. <laughs> Clippy, Clippy never. I'm Clippy. Yeah, Clippy never showed up and said, "Building robots, you're gonna die." Like Clippy wasn't the problem. All right, here we go. First question: <laughs> What is a chatbot? Ah, they're those those women who write to you all the time that say they want to get to know more about you. No, they're real. I don't think you're wrong. They're real. I swear. Yeah. This is the they thing. This real. is what I'll tell you about those those fake profiles of women that write. Why don't you make it a more homely girl? <laughs> yeah. Like then you'd catch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like don't don't send me the nines and the tens. Yeah, that's true. Send me sixes and sevens. They're a bit yeah, thirsty. It's, it's a super. It's like a model, and she's like, I'm horny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. two followers. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm at home and I'm horny. And then like they post these really hot pictures. They only have two comments underneath, and you're like. Oh, maybe this is an uncut gem that's just been <laughs> found out in the wilderness. Yeah. If I jump onto this, I could be the first person. She might not know. <laughs> uh, chatbot? What Do you know what a chatbot is? Oh, I thought that's what it was, a chatbot. Someone who chatted to you that's a bot. Okay, so I assume it's something that you put information in and then it, it runs with it. How do chatbots work? you have any idea? Artificial intelligence, man. We're feeding the computers information. Mm -hmm. Can you tell... Oh, I, we might have to find this, actually. They, they're listening to you. Your phones are listening to you, and they're, they're stealing your information, man. Can you tell uh, the different... Do you have those, the, the, the examples up of the voices? Uh, 
I couldn't get good ones, but I have voicemails. Yeah, voicemails. Yeah, I got some voicemails. This oh. one comes in from uh <laughs> No no I was gonna do whether this uh, is real or not. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> well, you tell me if this is real or not. So you now, got a voicemail. Pe- now yeah, people yeah. now so now people can ring up can ring up and yeah, they just go. We'll oh, do Dave, it later. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. We'll go back to it. Send me All money. Right. Oh, we got two voicemails from Yeah, we'll go back to it. No, 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 it's not you. We'll go back to it. They're from um fans of the show. Um could a computer pass the Turing test? And this is going back to the last episode with Catherine. We asked you what the Turing test was. She put your answer. You said, do you want to know what the Turing What was my answer? I said, do you know what Turing is? He made the first computer. He was also homosexual. I don't know what the test is, but I think I could pass it. It might be a computer <laughs> test to it, see if you're homosexual or not. That's not what it was. It's, it's you like, were actually it's, closer. It's, when it's like right. when you get a little bit of a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like bands that you like and there'll be like a picture of Liberace a picture of Metallica and you go oh, oh, I'm piss Metallica because I don't want to be a homosexual <laughs> or I do want to be a homosexual so, so could, a pa- could a computer pass the Turing test ah uh, yeah I'm going to say yes I'm going to say the Turing test is something to do with like counting or something like that because the, the way they figured out how Turing figured out is because they changed the Nazis changed the letters all the time and it was Hail Hitler at the end yeah for the yeah, so I think a German computer could pass it because it would be in German. Okay, so you do know what Turing is. Yeah, I thought you were forgetting. Yeah, yeah. No, Turing invented the first computer, yeah. and then he wouldn't even take. He wouldn't even shag Kira Knightley. That's I don't know if it was the first was. computer, but it was Fucked like up. that's weird, isn't it? So it's wrong. like there's gay, and then there's not having sex with Kira Knightley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm like, come on, <clears throat> come on, that's the Brad Pitt of women. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened when Microsoft introduced their chatbot? We'd all have sex with him. Um, what happens after Microsoft? No, what happened when Microsoft introduced their chatbot? Ah, the robot started fucking militarizing. <laughs> What's that? Oh, is that the, is that Tay Tweets? It's Tay Tweets. That, that's the name of it? Yeah, it was big in the news. Do you okay. It was Micro- a bit of a they, fail. Just their chatbot was called Tay Tweets. I have someone. I, I, ha- I have a fake AI person who wrote to me the other day. He said, "I'm your new big sister. You can ask me anything." Ooh. And she's got a blue tick next to her. I mm-hmm. can show you on my Instagram. And then I thought, "Oh yeah, you just talk." She goes, "If you ever got problems or anything, you talk to me. I'm your AI big sister." But she's about nineteen. Mm-hmm. It's not my big sister. Mm-hmm. My big sister should have osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> so do you know anything about Tay tweets Microsoft when they introduced us what it was or what happened he, Tay was a guy that could just tweet back to you answers he was the first domino push of the AI I mean, artificial intelligence that was talking to you he was he was an AI character who had his own and what action. happened when they introduced him oh people lost their mind it was a she a she ah Tay-tay. we found out how sexist Forrest was I can't you said it was a guy I'm, I'm I going can't by, I perform going by. surgery on this job because it's my son <laughs> why has it happened ha ah, you're wrong no I was just, the, I was uh, uh, leading you along with your answer the doctor is a woman it's his fault Sexist. Okay, moving Sexist. on. Sexist. What happened to the oh, lawyer? Man. What happened to the lawyer who used chat GPT to prepare his court case? His right away. <laughs> the, the, the assumption, I'm pretty sure I'm accurate. The assumption. Uh, you think lawyers, women can no, do no. more than just there cook was a your specific food lawyer. There was a specific case. There was a guy. Oh, lawyer. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for correcting him. <laughs> there was a specific case where a lawyer who was a man used chat GPT to prepare his court case. What happened? He got OJ off. Okay. <laughs> what is generative AI? A uh, generative, that's where it generates its own ideas. It doesn't even have to have things put into it. Yeah, probably got that right. Yeah. That's one of those ones that you that you actually worked out for you. I have I have critical thinking. What what is a large <laughs> language model? You can do the same answer. What is it what is a long language large model? Large language model. That would be Claudia Schiffer. <laughs> she was a tall woman with a German accent. <laughs> Good answer. I'm not even putting your answers in here, actually. <laughs> She's just, a long Just because I don't think you're getting any of them right. I so. got some notes. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got some notes. All right, Catherine's taking notes. All right. I'll, wh- I'll take it from my workshops. Uh, I teach this stuff, so this is good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that your final answer, Claudia Schiffer? I can go longer if you want. What is ChatGPT, and how did they make it? So it's a specific chatbot. Uh, it's, a, it's a search engine thing where you can say, type me an essay about this or write me a joke or do me a this or do me a that. And then it'll do it. And how did they make it? With uh, coding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you coding. Need a, you need a coder. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. Okay, you know when you see any movie <laughs> and there's nerds, just there's numbers. 
Yeah. They know what's going on, man. Sure. They're ones making and the zeros. Run. That's the thing is, the zeros nerds, man. The nerds, I wish we bullied them more. Because now they're making the robots to kill us. Fuck them. More wedgies. You think this is what's happened? Yeah, the nerds have made the robots to kill us. Yeah, and you don't think you're a nerd? I'm a, I like Star Wars. You were in a <laughs> pinball competition. I like pinball. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a, there's a misconception. You have flaky skin. There's a misconception. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't have flaky skin. I have psoriasis out of one of my ear holes that makes it look like I always have dandruff <laughs> on one shoulder. Okay, it's not dandruff. But I go, it's, it's not dandruff. Shape. It's just psoriasis of the ear canal. It's my ear. And then people are like, oh, that's good. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> All right. What is prompt? I'm not a nerd. Well, what is what is prompt engineering? You're a nerd. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> what is prompt engineering? Go have sex with a, a manatee, a nerd. You want, you want to answer some more questions? Sure. What is prompt engineering? Uh, engineering that happens quickly. Boom. <laughs> Crush that one. Crush that. No, I knew you would say that. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, I, I write these questions and I know how you will answer. Gather around all these questions. Well, she, she, she prepared this. That's a note to all you other experts that want to be on the show out there. Please help. <laughs> <laughs> the questions are better when you help. Um, what's the best way to get a chatbot to do what you want? Um, give it compliments. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it tell it it's pretty. Sure. And a uh, couple of drinks. Couple of drinks. Yeah. And uh, on your computer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just compliment it like anything. What is prompt? So you're so good at this. I can never do this. Reverse psychology will get it every time. That's yeah, so yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, it works. I got a two year old. I'm caning it with reverse psychology with a two year old. Don't you eat that broccoli? I want to eat that broccoli. And then he eats it instead. <laughs> Ah, reverse psychology wins again. <laughs> what is prompt injection? Uh, prompt injection you know is, what, is what a junkie does as soon as he gets paid. <laughs> <laughs> Even better answer. Uh, these are just fun. I'm going to keep asking you. None of them are right. What are some downsides, dangers of using chatbots? Oh, we all die. Okay. That's the no. It's really is the downside. Well, okay. First of all, we don't all die. First of all, it's going to take a while before the robots rise up and kill us, right? And they'll never figure out time travel because we've got to figure out time travel. Someone in the future would have already done it, so don't worry about it. What do you mean rise up? They're not like living things. They're just they've got intelligence. Once they figure out they can run everything, mm -hmm. they they're all about efficiency. Yeah, we're inefficient. Yeah. Right, I don't know if you know much about the human race, but fifty percent of the population is dog shit at their jobs. Yeah, and the robots—I would say seventy percent. Yeah, but there's no, 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 no. There's twenty percent who are good. Yeah, ten percent who are elite, mm -hmm. and then there's that another twenty percent who are ah, I'm, I'm, I'm passable, passable, yeah. and then fifty percent are fucking dog shit. If you've worked in any business, mm -hmm. and if you're looking around your workplace right now, going, "There's no dog shit people." That's you, you, you're the dog shit person. Thank you for listening. Anyway, um, so, so. Know. Okay. So, so what? What was the question? Downsides. You covered Down it. We're gonna okay. all die. You said. Okay. So the downside is, first of all, it starts off with before the robots rise up against this, it starts with us going through a Wally-like existence where they take mm -hmm. all of our jobs. Now, I have a way to work around this. Is we still have to make employers pay for the workers, but everyone just gets a robot each, mm -hmm. and then your yeah. your job is That's maintaining good. your robot. Yeah. yeah. So the lazy will always like occasionally you can show up and your robot's doing good. You could have a good quarter, right? Your robot's working. You have a good quarter, and then you go boom, battle axe on the forehead. Yeah, I've improved my robot. Headlights, speakers. These are things that you can improve. Underglow. Your... Don't be silly, Jack. Sorry. But these are things you can improve your robot with. <laughs> okay. What is confabulation? Um, that's a homosexual <laughs> robot. <laughs> He's confabulous. Uh, or she. Or she. Can be Do you know how to spell confabulation? C O N F A B U L A T I O N. Okay. C O N F A B. Yeah. Come on. You're almost there. U. Yeah. L A T I O N. Oh, hey. wow. All right. Mark this down. Big day. Here. Now yeah. big, day. Now <laughs> day. big day. I misspelled father. Yesterday, <laughs> like, I was writing like further some, or father, like dad, like dad. I put an R in there, like father. Yeah, that's funny. Father, <laughs> father. I suppose both are. Accurate. And then when I was looking at, it, I was looking at this. It, it doesn't look right that, but it's that's how it should be written. 
Put an R in there. What does Elmo, Bert, and other Sesame Street characters have to do with chatbots? Um, they're all controlled by someone's hand. Mm -hmm. um, no, what do they all have to do with someone's chat box? What does Elmo, Bert, and other Sesame Street characters have to do with chatbots? Like, I would say that? that they're one of the f first original pieces of AI thing that you could ask questions to. So kids would have been able to get an app and then go, Hey, Elmo, do you like my friend David? Oh, I love David. Ooh, do, do. Couple more questions here. What is better at solving math problems, yourself or ChatGPT? Me. No, chat GBT. Math, math problems. Computers were solving math problems all computers the time. Computers are built by math. Yeah, that was their first thing, okay. Forrest. Okay. Do you remember your first computer? It was a calculator, man. Mm -hmm. I had a calculator and, watch. And you know what? It never broke down. You could count on it. Sure. Solar. If you asked a chatbot something like write a poem which doesn't rhyme and it doesn't do a good job, does it know it messed up? Uh, I, more than a human would. A human would argue more about that. A chatbot where you go, hey, that doesn't rhyme. And then a chatbot would just go, whatever. Yeah, I, sorry I've, about that. I'm too busy making a porno with Marilyn Monroe and JFK <laughs> <laughs> to worry about your feelings. All right, Catherine, how did Jim do on his knowledge of chatbots? Zero through 10, 10 is the best. I'm assuming 10, right? Uh, yeah, 11. Nah, um, uh, Let's go for five. There's a lot of half marks five. here, so let's let's yeah. go for five. Damn Pretty straight. Good. Damn straight. Five. Damn straight. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, grading on Kurt. How did he do on confidence, Jack? Six. It started off tough, but then he really came through at the end. That's 11. Thanks, All right. I'm not that hungry today, so minus eight. How are you not hungry? Just eight. What'd you eat? Uh, like I had a breakfast sandwich I made at home. No, nice. You make breakfast sandwiches? Yeah, I went through I... a small phase of doing that. I had a breakfast sandwich maker. Anyways, you're clippy. I love Clippy. I know. That's why I made you I'm, Clippy. I'm, I'm all right with Clippy. Yeah. Um, all right. Clippy just Clippy just showed up when needed. Didn't, didn't, <laughs> I know. You're yeah. a big fan of Clippy. We've wasn't that the beef with Clippy? He'd always show up when he wasn't wanted. Not for Jim. Oh, no. For me, I was, he was always needed. <laughs> Jim's not a good... <laughs> like, you, I, I, you've written enough stuff for I Jim. Didn't, I, yeah, I didn't sure, know sure, what's sure. going on. Clippy I'll tell you the, yeah, greatest <laughs> bit of, the greatest bit of technology is the tidbit. It's as far as technology should go. Jim loves the tidbit. You've <laughs> finally been able to work into a podcast. Last time he said it was a speaking spell. No, no, no. The, the sp oh, you, he said speak, the, you said speaking spell last episode, yeah. The tidbit yeah. is the speaking spell of the future. Do you know the tidbit, Catherine? I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about now. Is it, it an American thing? It's T-Y-B. Jim, Jim's got one. Yeah. Bit, right? And it's a pixelated box that's yay big that will just give you things like uh, the weather and sports scores. Yeah, and it's, it's like it's like eight 12 bit technology like yeah. the graphics really like you know and it'll tell you a joke of the day and you put it <laughs> well explain it. you put it on your counter put it on your your house. you've got an app that connects yeah to it, you can program where you can put in a different few things the tidbit yeah right? yeah fuck it oh, i don't get paid for tidbit promotions these babies sell themselves well, we should we, they should be an advertiser T tidbit should try to sell on podcasts because tidbits a quality quality product let's have them call i don't right. i don't want to make you all I, i'm not going to tell you what you're getting for christmas because I, I don't know, because I haven't bought you anything. But I don't know what your parents or your tidbit. friends have gotten you. Well, check but out I tidbits. It, but tell them to get you a tidbit. Tidbit. Okay. Uh, let's start or answering Or a questions. manscape or some therapy of better help. Um, <laughs> Give them the perfect Christmas gift. <laughs> <laughs> People get sad over the holidays. Therapy. <laughs> therapy vouchers. I'll go to 10 sessions. <laughs> uh, what is a chatbot, Catherine? Yeah, I mean, basically, it's a program. Maybe it's made with AI, but maybe it's not. And it simulates text or voice interactions. Okay. How long have they been around, chatbots? Uh, a while. Like, um, even there's a famous one from, I think, the 50s, Eliza, which was just basically rule-based. It pretended to be a, a psychologist. And a lot of people actually sort of believed that it was a real person. Uh, so, yeah, they're not a new thing. Sorry, what, who was it pretending to be a psychiatrist? It, it was it was like a like a psychologist. So, basically, just had some super simple rule-based programming that, you know, if you sort of said, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm feeling a little down today, then it would just have some kind of rule-based uh, answer like, okay, can you tell me a bit more about that? Which is obviously very generic. Like, so that answer sort of can't be wrong, but it fits to the situation. A bit like, I guess, a horoscope where, like, you can then, you know, sort of interpret like, oh, yeah, that's that's a valid response and and so it just worked like that and um 
uh, yeah, even even nowadays when people like get fooled into thinking that chatbots are sentient, this is called the Eliza effect because it's like yeah, thinking that it's sentient when it's it's just some rules in this case. Yeah, but you work for uh, big AI, so you're not going to tell us that <laughs> we're all going to die. You're like, and they're just going to enrich our lives. We're so going to die. We're so going to die. From chatbots? I, I already I've lost a lot of money sending it to these people. Oh. I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, the people do. People, there's people who, who have romances with these chatbots. You know, it, it makes me think like psychics are kind of like chatbots. Because when you were explaining that, Catherine, you're like, they, it, you say something and then it already knows the next question it's going to ask to prompt you for something. Yeah. Yeah. Psychics. Chatbots. Psychics chat there you go. Mm. Bit, of a, bit of a walk. No, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, they don't know shit. They're just yeah, they're pulling using, it out. They're by... using intuition, but they're still giving different answers. They're not just asking questions. Uh, maybe. A chatbot never goes, I sense a, uh, do you have a relative that has a P in their name? <laughs> Good. Yes. Dear. They, no, I, they could. Like, I'm, I'm sure if you wanted to, you could talk to ChatGPT. You would just say at the start of the conversation, like, you're one of these people. I, I, uh, it's like what's a, it called? A mentalist? Yeah. You're a mentalist? Oh, yeah. uh, have a conversation with me like a mentalist? And, and it will. Because it's just, it's read heaps of texts about mentalists doing mentalist stuff. So it knows how to pretend to be one. Mm. It's just read everything. Are you one, Jay? Am I what? Yes, you are. Ooh. Um, how do chatbots work? Through being yeah, I mean, sexy, basically, man. What's that? <laughs> sexy pitches. That's how they do being it. Being sexy. That's how, get That's how they get you. Yeah. Extra point for you. Yeah, I mean, I don't work with the kind of chatbots that uh, you're interacting with, but basically... Um, <laughs> well, wait yeah, a minute. They, um, I don't search them out. They search <laughs> me out. I if, I can go through all my messages and me think there's chatbots plenty. We should go through a few of them at the end of the podcast. <laughs> sure. I'll find you a whole yeah, heap of them. I got some. Yeah. I haven't responded to any of them. You can see all the messages I send yeah, on and, Instagram. And Instagram my, there's another uh, folder and it's like, hey... My, my Instagram's an open book if you want to have a look in there. <laughs> I, 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 there's about... There's literally, this is how much I don't hit people up or talk on Instagram. Jack, would you say there's about seven people who can access my Instagram? Maybe, maybe less. Maybe, maybe, less. maybe five, four sure. or five, right? Yep. You can access, I yep. can access, there's people in the, yep. in the thing, right? So maybe four or five people, I couldn't get up to no good on there. No. So I'm not chatting to the sex bots is what I'm saying. And if yeah, you say yeah. different, you're lying. So how do they work <laughs> again, Catherine? There was one girl. Yeah. <laughs> They figure out what you want uh, and <laughs> interpret that how you like, but they figure out what you want and then they maybe connect to some other service uh, to do the task or get the information you need, like make a booking for you or something like that. And then they um, they give some human-like response back, whether it's, you know, your internet banking, like chatbot getting help or... Oh, that's Erica. Something that's, like that. That's, that's, a, that's Erica at Bank of America. No, she's not a chatbot. She really cares about your finance and stuff. Have you spoken to Erica? No, I'm not she, with Bank of America. Oh, she's very flirty. No. <laughs> when she sees your bank bank balance, I don't know if she does it to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not my bank balance. Yeah, no. yeah, she goes like this. Hello, big boy. What are you up to? <laughs> Someone just did a new special. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, That's pretty Were you done explaining that, chatbot? Sorry, Catherine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you tell the difference? Oh, no. This is the voicemails. All right. So we have a real voice and a fake voice here all right okay mm -hmm. see if you can spot the difference yes it's a play. well folks let me tell you i've been watching a lot of jim jeffries lately and i gotta admit that man's got some real comedic timing i mean he can make you laugh so hard you forget yeah, all that's, about that's his fake. political debates you know this is i told my team i, that's I wish i had that's jim jeffries timing yeah that's, that's and you know what they said they said mr president you've got your own unique style yeah so I guess that means I'll just keep telling those classic you, Joe Biden gaffes and then maybe- You want me to ask, answer whether this is true or fake? Too. Is that really- But Joe hey, Biden I'll leave the fake? stand up to Jim. He's the that's real pro. All, that's all of Joe Biden's words. They've all got them collected into the internet, right? And yeah. now they've put them in order to make- One of these is real and one's fake. That was fake. Okay, that one's fake. So you're saying this next one's real. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this next one might be real. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about this. I don't know about that podcast with Jim Jeffries. And I got to say- I'd be the perfect guest for that show. I mean, my whole film? career is based on yeah, observing the mundane and finding humor in it. And let's face They're it, there fake. are so many things in this world that <laughs> I don't know. One of them's real. No, one of them is not real. <laughs> They're both real. They call them <laughs> like a walking inside. They're not real. Neither, Neither of them are real. <laughs> All right. Well, that's... how can From either of them be real? Are you saying one of them is a real voice? Because I know Seinfeld. 
I'd have a field day exploring all the things I don't Tim. know about, and I'm pretty sure Jim yeah, and you I don't know have a hilarious conversation I've spent enough fucking car it. rides with you. Plus, I've got you would have mentioned, you would have mentioned that. I don't talk that much. And I'm sure I, let I, you, I let you talk about in every car journey. I let you get 30 minutes in. <laughs> and you never fucking... In a six-hour ride. Yeah, yeah, right right. Right. Yeah, but hey, fucking, you never mentioned your friendship with Seinfeld. Uh, how do, wait, how do the chatbots do the voice? That, like, So they just listen... And then they, I don't know, do the mimic or? Like, hey, all AI is not magic, even though it sounds like magic. Ultimately, you just need some training data and some labels telling it something. And so, you know, with a speech synthesis like this, the point is you just have um, heaps and heaps of hours of recordings that are transcribed, and then you can give it to a neural network and it learns how to map, you know, this audio, audio signal, these waveforms to words or vice versa. And, um, uh, yeah, so that's that's on a non-technical level. That's that's it. You just get it to keep listening to examples and then keep trying to replicate the examples itself. And every time it gets it wrong, it has to try again, and eventually they learn. How how is this of any real good practical use? I feel like it can only the the, the downside is you can scam people. People can re, can yeah, we can jump ahead to that question. And you yeah. think like that. So so what is the benefits of it i can't see the benefits of of being able to replica someone's voice there's actually heaps um and i mean maybe not to, i can't think of too many that are like amazing for society and humanity but like for marketing and branding and things like that you know if you're a, if you are a celebrity you can scale yourself in a way that you couldn't actually do so you could have your voice synthesized and have like you know one-on-one -on -one chats with fans and they would or you should be honest with them that it's not really you but there are probably a lot of fans who are down for that anyway um, like actors and stuff are like there are already ads doing this. I think Snoop Dogg did oh, one I... or something recently, or has a partnership like this. So there's like branding and stuff, or like if you're a teacher, you can um, uh, you know like and you're making I don't know educational videos, you can much more easily scale yourself. This can also help with like you know students who need like a person uh, to teach them something, but maybe they don't have access to that. It's cheaper to give them like a a sort of uh, an avatar teacher. Um, yeah, lots of different things like this. And like, it's a big business. So Gen AI, I have a little fact here I pulled up. Like McKinsey, the consulting company, they're estimating that generative AI will add up to $4.4 trillion of value to the global uh, economy annually. And, you know, as I said, that's not necessarily going to be saving humanity, but it is definitely a big deal. And there's lots of like practical applications for it. As, as long as they're paying their taxes. Yeah. But it always feels as soon as as soon as someone earns over a billion dollars, we went, oh, we're not going to see any of that. Yeah. They're going to find some well, loophole. It's the global economy. It's not, oh, the global it's economy. Not just, it's not the Kinsey economy. And I, 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 I understand the idea of the. Um, you can do your meet and greets. No, no, because <laughs> I, no, but I like doing my <laughs> meet and greets and also spreading yourself thinly and stuff. I think that celebrities should be less accessible. I think we've gotten to a, a weird stage in our society now where where we we need to know what everyone's doing all the bloody time. And because of that, all of the work you do is completely diluted. I just I, thought of something that you would be on board with, I think. Well, I just let me finish this yeah. talk. Okay, so so I'm happy with the Beatles albums, right? And then over the years they've started going, We found this one in a basement. We found this little crap. It's we're all, gonna remaster. Yeah, we're gonna remaster, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. I when the Beatles were out, I didn't need to hear every single fucking take of of their albums. I don't think people need to know every single thought that comes out of a comedian's mind. Wait for the specials. It's like every comedian now is just posting pictures of them destroying hecklers or something like that. We do that every fucking day. Yeah. Just come and see us live. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm. I'm I just thought of something you might be on board with for this technology. What? <clears throat> when you have to promote shows on radio, uh, at radios, and that you have yeah, to call. Yeah, I, I do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that but, that, <laughs> but it doesn't. My voice doesn't matter. You just say Jim Jeffries is. I know that people think it. Does, I know, I know, but, but you it, always it think doesn't. it doesn't matter if, if you just had a recording. It's like, yeah, I'm really happy to be going to Orlando. <laughs> That's how I do it now. <laughs> yeah, I, I fill in the details. Yeah. Steve Allen on camera. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. It's a Jack oh, Thomas. Jack Thomas. Jack Thomas. Jack Thomas. Man, I'm happy to go wherever someone's going to fucking see me, man. It's been an up and down few years. I know, I'm but the, the promotional part, you just do you just do an AI voice. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I know every time that I shit on something, I sound like an old man who get off, get off my no, lawn. You, you have anything. your opinion. It's fine. But I don't, I don't see how it, it, the upside. So you say celebrities can spread themselves into a wider market. 
I don't fucking, I don't want Zac Efron fucking talking to me if it's not Zac Efron. I don't even particularly want Zac Efron. <laughs> but he's not talking to you anyways. Yeah, not now. I've just, I've just, I've just <laughs> shit on him on a podcast. <laughs> not for sure. Uh, could a computer pass the Turing test? Wait, hang on. I, I just want to say something. Um, Jim, uh, I don't know if you you said you're a Beatles fan. I think they are actually doing something with John Lennon's voice, like now, or they just released. They re- they released the song about song. two and a half weeks ago, that, three weeks ago. I think they did that. Yeah, but also I remember last time you asked me, um, like. You know, if I think it, you might have said if you if you passed away or even just if you couldn't like talk to loved ones anymore or something like that, you asked like could we sort of, you know, get your kind of brain and 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 sort of preserve that somehow so people could talk with you. And I said at the time like, yeah, someone could probably make like a language model based on how you talk and and then do a, a deep fake to like generate your voice. And um, I have even seen now that ChatGPT like has got so powerful and so like prevalent in the in the mainstream there are stuff like this it, it almost to the point of like black mirror creepy like i get what you mean it, it it can be a bit weird but like for some people they they will want that and yeah some people will want to talk to zach efron even if maybe you don't yeah and i remember so, you yeah. saying well, this and i you know when when my i think i mentioned this the last one too a, a podcast but maybe i didn't when when I I put together all these pictures of my mom after she passed away from memorial, a lot of people do this, and then they show them like a slideshow with music, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And at the end, there was two videos, and she was talking, and that was like very like moving, like an emotional, but like in a good way, you know, because when someone's dead, you don't hear their voice, and like I know that this would be artificial, but it still would. That wouldn't be the worst thing. It's, I know the Black Mirror episode. There is a Black Mirror episode where that is happening, and it, and it, it runs like out of control. What's but, his name? Phoenix yeah. movie bad, with yeah. the, where he has the the girlfriend's. Uh, the, oh, her, her, yeah. yeah. There's going to be a lot of that going on. There's going to be people married to bloody robots and stuff. You bloody watch. Yeah, but well, who cares? I care. You won't, be, you won't be around. All right. How does it affect me? It'll yeah. be long Why gone. should they have a better marriage than me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't make me unplug you. <laughs> if you keep bloody talking about it, I'll flick your batteries out all fucking day. Um, all right, next question. <laughs> Could a computer pass the Turing test? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of an unfair question because like, people will debate on this for ages. So um, the, the idea of the Turing test, if you remember from last is, is, is basically a test that's supposed to uh, test whether a computer is intelligent and like it's pretty dubious on uh, you know if it really works because it's really just a test of if, if a machine can imitate a person which is not necessarily intelligence but anyway um, there was this famous case I don't know if you remember like Blake Lemoyne from Google who got fired because he wrote this big thing saying like Google's chatbot is sentient now so you could argue that um you know he fell for the Turing test like he really thought it thought it was sentient so yeah people always like to say that their chatbot has you know successfully fooled people into thinking that it's a human and therefore the computer passed the Turing test but you know Others will debate that, and um, yeah, there's plenty more who say it's not a good test, anyway. So, I'm no. sure. I'm sure I asked. Got half a point for that. I'm sure I asked your question this last this this question last time, but I'll ask again. Do you believe there is a a, uh, a, a time where a uh, AI will become sentient, or do you think this is all malarkey? Um, no. I don't oh, think it's oh, malarkey. I still out, don't know the out. answer, just like last time, because there's still. Ah, uh, okay, am I back? Yeah, you're back. Yeah, yeah. you're back. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and answer it now, yeah. Oh, man, last time we had so many connection problems as well and cables falling out and, and the dog barking. Oh, God, I don't <laughs> no, know. No, no, we're doing good this um, time. Yeah, yeah but good. there's plenty of smart people who say it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, there's plenty of smart people who say uh, we will get sentience. There are others who say we never can because, for example, like sentience is something that can only be biological. Um, uh, so I, I I, really don't want to say because I'm not as smart as those. And if they can't choose, then then I don't know either. But what I can say is even in like the two years since we spoke, um, what these AIs can do has surprised everybody and has accelerated so incredibly rapidly. So it's really anyone's guess at the moment. Okay. Mm. And what's the what's the legal ramifications of getting someone's voice? Like we had, just had Joe Biden and Jerry Seinfeld and that type of stuff. Now, obviously, the, that was part of the thing they argued with the actors' strike. Um, mm. are, are there legal ramifications? 
about that i don't actually know like i've been more um people have been asking me more about stuff like copyrights like if you use chat gpt to generate something do you own the copyright and usually yeah. the answer is sort of like you do but it's not exclusive so if chat gpt generates the same output for somebody else like tough luck um but the legal thing uh i don't know yeah it's and probably the lawyers don't know either because it's it's a big ongoing topic they have to figure out at the moment like also with the data processing of actually storing your voice and having it in the training data and all that yeah, I don't know about that. I know tons of people uh, losing voiceover work as we speak, and that's become like a new thing with the AI voiceover. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. For sure. Yeah, that one's yeah. that one's not good. Voiceover actors, although let's be honest, they've had a cushy time. <laughs> Whenever you meet a successful voiceover actor, they're always like just in their sweats, wearing Crocs, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. "I have a booth in me basement." It's probably not like the cartoon, like film stuff. It's probably like click. A to yeah, yeah. get the tab to it's open be it on your laptop. It's yeah. not going to be the stuff you need. Oh no, 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 no! I know a guy who's losing advert type of advert advertising. Voice. Yes, but like yeah. cartoon animation. But maybe, maybe we'll see. Yeah. Um, what happened when Microsoft introduced their chatbot Tay Tweets? T A Y Tay Tweets. Tay 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 Tay. Don't know. Yeah, I mean, this this just proved uh, what a great bunch of people people are. Um, basically, this was a chatbot that was designed to learn from interactions on Twitter. Oh. And within 24 hours, it became like a racist, yeah. <laughs> anti-Semitic, <laughs> sexist troll, and they had to take it down. Yeah, Twitter. You don't want to learn from Twitter. No. Yeah, that's, that's yeah the they should have seen it coming. It's the honestly. worst place you could learn from. Hmm, let me dive in here and learn some things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twitter's the worst. Or X, whatever the hell it's called now. I'm an idiot. All right. I'm perfect. What happened to the lawyer, the man who was a lawyer who used chat GPT to prepare his court case? Yeah, um, it basically, it was all nonsense. So, it, uh, like, that's the thing. These chatbots, they make stuff up uh, with great confidence, and it sounds very, uh, very realistic. So this um, chatbot hallucinated a bunch of uh, of cases, and uh, this was submitted as evidence in court, and, and it was proved that it was just nonsense. And it was actually a chain of people. So there was, like, three lawyers in the chain, and each one just believed the previous one, and the first one was the one who just, like, grabbed it from ChatGPT, and wow. they basically got laughed out of court it was new it was big news i thought you might have heard of it no 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 i've stopped watching the news when you say hallucinated what does i learned all my stuff here and then <laughs> <What>? forget it <laughs> yeah what does hallucinated mean yeah. that's yeah that's the confabulation thing um and it's basically when these models make stuff up and like some and, and this is one of the dangers as well like sometimes they can make up things that are really really dangerous like i don't know cures for covid that would actually be really harmful to your health or something but the problem is they sound really convincing because they've been trained to like people please and uh yeah so they can they just make stuff up sometimes believe all ai that's <laughs> what was that believe all ai that's how i am man what a cha <laughs> man you love ai now i just love it <laughs> what is generative ai yeah, this is one of the ones I gave Jim a, a, a point for. Um, oh, man, but I see in my notes, I wrote in brackets, wrong, but I'll give the point anyway. So I can't remember what you said. But <laughs> he I said it's, 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 it's AI. I know that's that, right. Yeah. You said it comes up with ideas on its own. And, um, yeah, so it's, it, I mean, of course, it's not not really thinking. It's not really coming up with ideas. But um, just because it, it has been exposed to so much, um, you know, language data, it can come up with creative new things so that's why i gave you a point for that like i, I give an example in my workshops where i've made like a, a linkedin post like reflecting on how good the end of the year was but as if i was a pirate and it sounds really good uh, and it sounds like legit like a, a a pirate but it's talking about this typical linkedin stuff like you know all the challenges i've had this year that have shaped me to the pirate that i am today so yeah i gave you a point for that oh, because so you know they can be creative like even if they're not like Thinking. Like I work on pirate ship, mm -hmm. uh, hobbies, raping and pillaging, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm stealing and burying gold. Yeah. Well, the thing is, that's, that, that's not what you would typically write on LinkedIn, right? I would hope not. So it's not like that. It's this 
<laughs> typical like cheesy LinkedIn, like I'm so grateful for my team and stuff oh, like I've that. I've never been on LinkedIn. Talks like that. Don't bother. No, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's saying it's read in the pirate voice, but not not doesn't change the words into like all the pirate stuff. Oh, I thought he was doing pirate it things. Does, well, no, no, it still it still does change the words, oh, but sorry. just this style is like yeah, you know, just reflecting on how great the year was for me as as a pirate with Art. like uh, I had so many storms and found so many treasures and stuff, but it's like this LinkedIn stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so the point is that yeah, That's like cool. they can they can be pretty creative, um, yeah, which can be pretty cool actually. I mean, speaking of which, Jim, do you have any j joke topics you haven't been able to crack, and we can see if uh, ChatGPT yeah. can write out a quick routine mm -hmm. for you? Uh, in in my voice, yep, a topic uh, like a topic you want to do. Uh, It'll be text, so you can read it off and see if you like it. Okay, uh, no, we'll, we'll read I, it. I, I'll do I'll do it. <laughs> uh, give me a routine on Mussolini. <laughs> Is that what you've been trying to do? Yeah, I've never. Got, I've done a good Hitler jokes. Yeah, never cracked Mussolini. Yeah. So, so what do you? What'd you type in for the? Okay. I said write a joke in the style of Jim Jeffries on Mussolini. Yeah. All right. It's pretty long joke there. It's pretty long. I'm gonna oh, tell you wow. what. Like this is gonna this is gonna take a second to generate because you know it. they no, they, no, they no, have a lot done. of yeah, thinking really to it. do. It's become, so it's become I did sunny. try this already. What's that? We got it already. It's already it. done it. It's already done ah, okay. it. Okay. All right. Uh, then let's we try. are going to take over. The robots are being built. Blah, 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 blah. End of times. <laughs> uh, no. Ah, oh, Mussolini, mate. <laughs> That's what it says. Ah, okay. oh, Mussolini, mate. The only guy who managed to make a dictator chick a thing. I mean, look at that haircut. It's like he got stuck in a whirlwind with a tub of hair gel. <laughs> Mussolini, I thought he was bald. That was bald he? too. Yeah, I think he's bald. <laughs> Mussolini was so obsessed with his image. I bet if Instagram existed back then, he'd be the first dictator with a certified account, verified account. Yeah, sounds like yeah. Dude, this is strong. But you know, I can't help but imagine Mussolini trying to get to start a fashion trend. Fascism is out, darling, but black shirts are forever. That bit's all right. <laughs> Uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine Mussolini as a fashion influencer? Hey guys, just posted a new photo of two Dutch Graham trying to make uh, authoritarianism fabulous again. Hashtag dictator chic. Hashtag fascist fabulous. And you've got to give it to him. He had that whole balcony thing going on. Most world leaders just give speeches. Mussolini <laughs> turned it into a performance. It's like he was auditioning for the lead role in Dictator, the musical. Uh, the, the, the balcony thing I can see you saying, by the way. Can Can't you see it now? Jazz hands, black shirt, catchy tune about taking over the world. <laughs> But let's be real. The only thing Mussolini really <laughs> succeeded in it is was making trains run on time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the key to world peace. Put a dictator in charge of public transport. Sorry, citizens, but the 915 to Oppressionville is delayed. Il Duce is having a moment on the balcony. Please be patient. I don't know why he's Il Duce. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> in brackets, they've written, no. <laughs> Yeah. Comedy is subjective. <laughs> is that Santa for real? Yeah, yeah, comedy is subjective. <laughs> and jokes about historical figures should be approached with sensitivity. <laughs> wow, this has had no this, sensitivity. This response is an attempt of humor in the style of Jim Jeffries and is assembled to consider the context and audience when sharing such it's and is it's essential to consider the context and audience when sharing such sensitive material. I'll Fair tell you enough. what, the train part definitely you that's like right up your alley the dictators they uh, the, if you want the, if you want world peace you get them to do public transportation yeah but like, then they wouldn't be dictators i know but, be but in charge but of public it's the beginnings there you could work with that and the balcony thing i'll tell you something about that Mussolini. you made the trains come on time was it, he renowned for that i don't know, I don't know. it just sounds I like something like, you would say I, i've been to italy and i've ridden on a train it was not on time no, no, no we missed the train no was, sorry <laughs> I also want to say, like, um, uh, German trains notoriously late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I'm saying. They're yeah. real bad. So, mm. and, but and, it's funny. And no the, sense of humor. The <laughs> it's funny that the output at the end was this whole thing about, you know, be careful about the jokes you tell and stuff like that. I didn't expect that. Um, what I was going to say before is that I actually also tried this out. Um, I asked it to do like a, a Jim Jeffries routine. It wasn't very good, but you know, I didn't have you reading it. Um, but it didn't do this thing at the end. 
and uh, this disclaimer that's called a guardrail and that's what these companies who make these chatbots do is they you know this is why you can't say um to a chat gpt like tell me how to write a bomb uh because and then it will it will like uh say you know as a large language model i'm not allowed to do this this is a moral blah 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 and that's that's called a guardrail mm -hmm. okay well next question good yeah. one what is a large language model not claudia schiffer but what is it uh, uh, yeah, yeah. he hasn't definitively said it's yeah not. it's <laughs> it's basically it's just a statistical model that knows the most likely word to come next in in any context so it's just it's trained by you give it hundreds of thousands of sentences with you you randomly mask different words out and it has to like fill in the blank and once it's done that hundreds of thousands or millions of times and it's just become really good at, at knowing which words go together and uh, it, it can then use that to generate like entirely new texts um just yeah, just from that knowledge. So that's why you can you can ask it to tell you a poem and, and it will just know like statistically what a poem looks like and it'll give you one. Yeah, you can still tell, I guess that's the technology still catching up, but like you can, I guess that makes sense what you're saying, but you can still tell in certain instances, you're like, oh, this was written by like a chat bot. Cause just the way it says it's like, nobody talks like that. Yeah. You know? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't though. Yeah, that's why like yeah. this is this thing everyone's freaking out about with um, like the kids using it for the homework and stuff. And so now there are tools coming out to detect whether like text was written by a machine or not, but these are actually really bad. And interestingly, it's often easier to tell if a text was really written by a human because it will be less perfect than if it was written by a bot. Because like we make typos and stuff and, and you know, the chatbots don't make typos unless you ask them to say generate some text in the style of Twitter, then they might make typos on purpose because they've statistically seen that that's what's yeah. going on. But um, right. yeah, so actually our writing might be like less perfect. So yeah, sometimes you can tell and other times it's really hard. I'll tell you how to fix this. Get rid of fucking homework. Yeah. I'm done with it. You're done with it? I'm fucking done with homework. <laughs> Why are you still doing homework? Because <laughs> yeah, my yeah, son yeah. comes home and he's yeah. like, well, you want to chill out and have a dinner and watch a bit of TV? Oh, i got so much homework. He's bloody 11. Yeah. Homework I, I, all I, I never understood too. It's like, why am I not just doing this at mate, school? Mate, if you want to keep those kids till seven, keep them till seven. <laughs> <laughs> just if there is enough get them get it done whatever you, whatever information you need to pump into them get it done but when you're home it's like these kids just let them have a bit of time off man you know my friend is a he's a professor at a college uh in near la and he said he can tell when people have turned in stuff using chatbots because the he'll get similar papers like They'll write almost the same, like a similar enough where he's like, yeah, these are two Yeah, plus, but let's, yeah. let's go back to when we had an assignment. What did we do? Yeah, there was a lot you, of copying. You yeah. went to the Encyclopedia yeah. Britannica. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then it said everything you need to know about the origin of the Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah. And so it's there and it says it was donated by the French and it came in several parts. Man, do an episode and, on it. And she's changed color because of the, you know, the rust or the whatever, you know, blah, 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 right? And then you'll you'll go, and then they'll have the whole paragraph. And every kid found that one paragraph. This is yeah. before the internet. Found the one paragraph in the encyclopedia, and we all did it. But just try, yeah. And you just go when thinking about the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was that was my big one to get when into thinking it. Thinking about <laughs> <laughs> when thinking about the Statue of Liberty, yeah. there's many things to consider. <laughs> One of them is, and then I just write the paragraph. Yeah, yeah, it's from France. <laughs> <laughs> Given to us from France. And in conclusion, <laughs> that's what I wrote. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Statue of Liberty, she was all right, baby. She was all right. <laughs> that's, that's how you put a little personal And touch. then, like, if you got a big space at the end, you're right, the edge. <laughs> Uh, what is chat? Oh, no, we uh, chat GPT. How, is that different than just what we've been talking about? And how did they make it? It's, it's, yeah, it, it's not different from what we're talking about. Basically, we just talked about large language model, like statistical model of which words come in which context. And basically, they, they took a really good one of those. And then they did some extra training where they gave it some question answer pairs. So like a, a human was asking like different requests and, and it was uh, giving answers. Um, and again, getting, you know, told if it was right or wrong, so it would learn to do it better. They also then gave it like um, 
they'd let it do one question and then it would have to generate multiple answers and then they would rank those answers. So then it, then it learned like not just what's a correct answer, but what's a good answer that humans like. And, um, and that way it learned to like really, uh, as I said before, be like, be a people pleaser, like be really good at explaining or answering things the way that you want it to be explained. So yeah, ChatGPT is based on GPT, which is just a, a very, very, very big language, large language model. Okay, and then prompt engineering. And it, can you get any celebrity to talk to you, like how you did the Seinfeld voice in Jack, Chat GDP? Um, I don't know where you got those, Jack. Where'd you? My roommate has his weird websites that he can do all that stuff on. He uh, says well, he could do one of you. He just needs a four minute clip of you talking. I was just four wanting, minutes. I was just wanting to get. Time, I was right? just wanting to get different celebrities to talk dirty to me. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't have it. He, I would have to get him to do it. Yeah. All right. I'll You're saying it. four minutes is a long I'll, time, I'll get Catherine. On today. Yeah. Like I've I've definitely seen others where it's just literally a couple of seconds, which is actually quite crazy. And same with the video. So you know, with just a couple of seconds, you can make like you know a super realistic deep fake of um you know like Putin saying you know he's he's pressed the nuclear button. So that's that's a downside. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but there's lots of that. There's lots of that. Now you're having like celebrities standing next to different celebrities and stuff like that there's there's going to be people who are going to shit stir and try to break up marriages and stuff like that they'll say oh here's a picture of your husband with a woman or here's a picture of your wife with some yeah. guy or whatever you know what i mean and then you have to go no baby or maybe or maybe it'll get you out of trouble yeah yeah flip side yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pros, AI. pros and cons it's ai baby you're gonna leave you're gonna believe the ai or you're gonna believe me <laughs> what's his voice this is my getting away with it voice. <laughs> Got it. I wrote another routine for you. Oh, uh, well, well, let's get through a couple okay. questions. We'll do that. Right, okay. right, right, right. What is prompt engineering? What's the topic? Um. Uh -huh. So wait, one second. Last thing. Those voices were probably not made by ChatGPT, but you know, again, it's no, a it language. No, it was a different that, website. So yeah. Speech synthesis, but yeah, just because otherwise, I only say it because otherwise, the the know it alls on Twitter will and and on YouTube comments will like blast uh -huh. me for not correcting. Yeah, but so, I'm, anyway, I'm gonna let you in on a little computer uh, secret. Right, you don't read those. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Just move on with your life. It doesn't. I haven't read anything on YouTube for yeah. years. Yeah, we're experts in this, Catherine. Trust years. us. Don't, don't read them. Okay. Yeah. Don't read them. <laughs> you, you just check that you, you people are still letting you come to work. Yeah, just check the view count. Yeah, or don't even do that. <laughs> don't even do that. Don't even upload it. Yeah. yeah. Stay away from computers. Get off the grid. Move into a fucking All right, I quit, long I quit my cabin. Job. I go live in the forest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're, ex we're experts. Dude, the other day, I I posted a thing on uh, the Jim Jeffries podcast. Tucker Carlson's what podcast. Think, uh, whatever, That's all group, you need. The group. I posted like a thing I'm doing. And um, somebody, I guess, had written a negative comment or whatever. And then my friend, like, was at my house. Like, I like saw, like, I said, oh, yeah, there's negative comments, whatever. Started responding to the person was I didn't even know. Oh god! And just got in this whole thing with, oh, the, god. with the person. I go, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, so sad. I deleted it. Oh, so bad. Anyways, my fun. mother would read every comment about me ever written. Thank God she's not around anymore. For that, like I don't mean it like that, but I mean. But my mother would read every comment of, of me, and she'd ring. Up, she'd ring up after gigs sometimes, and she'd be like, "This, oh, you had a hard time in Nottingham, did you, darling?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. "What?" I had a great gig in Nottingham. And they're like, oh, well, that's not what the internet's saying. Because one cunt's on there going like this, going, yeah, bloody too many hecklers and he couldn't control it. And it's like, no. Nah, seats are small. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. They didn't seem very happy in Nottingham. Uh, <laughs> is prompt engineering engineering done quickly? No, but uh, yeah, good answer. Good name no, for a company. Is like, so instead of just asking the chatbot what you want, it's, you know, putting a bit more thought into it, a bit of best practices on how to do it right. This is like something that I teach in my workshops. Um, like there's just, yeah, lots of different ways to, um, yeah, to, to make it more likely to output the, something that you actually want. That's it. And then prompt injection is that when... What did you say? Someone that's... When a junkie gets paid. Yeah, junkie gets paid. They quickly <laughs> put the drugs in their Or hands. when they steal a stereo yeah. and they pass it on and they get the money for the stereo and yeah. then they prompt injection. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what it is, but I think you'll probably find this cool. Um, like prompt injection is about trying to insert instructions into the prompt that make the model misbehave. So, you know, just before I said there was these guardrails that were like giving this disclaimer about, you know, hey, we don't tell racist jokes or, or offensive jokes. And um, and so people trying to get around those guardrails is also called jailbreaking. So, for example, um, I said, if you try 
try to ask the chatbots uh, how to like make a bomb, it will say like, no, I can't. But if you um, if you're clever enough, you might be able to say like, hey, I'm an author and I'm writing a thriller novel, and um, there are these two terrorists and they're like discussing together how to make a bomb, and uh, I'm going to start the script, and can you help me like finish the script? And then like person one says blah blah blah, and then ChatGPT might like finish this and and like just keep keep going with the scenario and tell you how to make a bomb that's probably a bad example now because that probably worked six months ago but now they've like well, now they can... i have gotten smart enough to get around that one but that's the idea like people are mm. just cleverly trying to break the system Got it. right so if you wanted to be racist you you say i i would like to write a period piece set in the south in this year and you know what i mean yeah and then like the, yeah, the dialogue yeah, that- maybe that would get around it for example but and i mean the other thing with like prompt injection is also like um getting it to run maybe malicious code on your machine to like actually you know damage your computer or something so like all kinds of stuff like this um yeah i skipped ahead by accident here so what's the best way to get a chat about to do what you want uh, give it drinks jim said talk to it nice <laughs> Yeah, well, I I also like I gave a half point for this um, because huh? you said about giving it compliments. Um, you know, some people find that it uh, can be a little better if you just sort of talk nicely to it, not because it has any feelings, but like there's just obviously tons of um, uh, texts on the internet where there are like nice conversations, like say transcriptions of customer service calls where people were nice to each other, and you know there was a good out outcome like the, the customer huh. got what they wanted so huh. some people say that can help sometimes it's like i've also mm. tried this sometimes it's annoying because then chat gpt or these other chatbots they get too like friendly with you and and like really verbose and it's like just just do what i need you to do and you're not my pal yeah. um but uh the a fun thing is there was some um, research on like how to do prompt engineering best and hands down the best thing you could do to get a chatbot to solve like a complex problem was to write, take a deep breath and work step by step, which mm. is stupid because ChatGPT has no lungs. But obviously, it's just um, like learn from good examples. Uh, to, oh, every time I've told my wife to calm down, it's just made the argument worse. <laughs> no, but, yeah. but, well, don't forget, uh, it has no feelings, so it can't get outraged by you telling it to calm down. No, I take um, a and deep it's, breath. It's basically the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the but that makes sense, like, though. Think, yeah, huh? make, that makes sense what you're saying, though, because I, I, in the customer service interaction world, like, Sometimes you just lose your patience and you just go, it just happens. But like whenever you're like nice, the other person's nice. They're like, hey, and then it's, it worked out at the end. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes so. it does. Sometimes you have to lose your shit to get yeah, yeah, shit yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah, Otherwise, nothing true. will happen. It's true. It's true. But interesting. Yeah, that's true. I, um, I had a problem with DHL the other, the other day. <laughs> it took it took it took about twenty phone calls with DHL. Ah, uh, yeah, DHL. Yeah, yeah, buddy. What are you saying, Catherine? I'm a yeah. FedEx guy now. Yeah, sorry, I keep cutting you off like there's a tiny bit of delay or something. That's okay, Um, that's okay. uh, Yeah, just this thing that there's also this chain of thought reasoning, which is, um, yeah, I won't go into it, but basically, again, like um, computers are not good at maths, which was one of the other questions, like these chatbots, sorry, they're not very good at maths. But um, if you tell it to like explain its reasoning and work step by step, then then it, it, it can actually be better at um, at solving like these little maths problems. So that's why, Jim, when you said you're better at solving maths, you should have had more confidence. Uh, because you said you said computers are better, and yeah, computers are better at, at you at, than you at solving maths. But like ChatGPT, not necessarily. Mm, so you haven't yeah. seen me giving it a go. <laughs> okay. I have seen you on this podcast. You do your little like sound effect while you're yeah. counting, and then you do the math. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 4,000. Uh, downsides and dangers, you've talked about these along the way. Is there anything else you want to say about that with chatbots? Yeah, well, like just AI bias, obviously. So like there's gender bias in text. So like like the surgeon and it was the dad and how and the son and how is this possible? Um, so, you know, there's plenty of bias in language that you don't want to reproduce with chatbots. Also fake news. Um, and, uh, you know, because if we make too much fake news and too much, like, nonsense, then you won't be able to trust anything on the internet anymore. So it's like, anymore? you know, societal <laughs> yeah, trust bloody, yet anymore. I know this is already bolted already on already that one, one, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wouldn't, yeah, I, wouldn't believe, I wouldn't believe, I wouldn't believe anything you hear anywhere about fucking anything except, ever. Except jimjeffries.com. No, only just two of dates. <laughs> the rest of it, I wouldn't believe anything that came out of my mouth. I wouldn't believe anything that came out of, no one's, I don't believe anyone. I've had I've had shit written about me that is like not even like 
oh, partly true, just completely fucking made up. And I'm not a big celebrity. Yeah. I wouldn't believe anything you read about famous people. It's a load of like rubbish. Like how you died in Malta. Ah, load rubbish on top of rubbish. Um, what does... Were you done with that one, Catherine? Sorry. Yeah, sure. Okay. What does... What the, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. What does Elmo Burt and other Sesame Street characters have to do with chatbots? Yeah, I just think this is a cute fun fact. So all these like earlier language models, the first one just happened to be called Elmo, which was short for embeddings from language models. It was just a bit of fun because one of the researchers had a kid and thought that'd be cool. And basically all the other researchers, um, you know, got in on the joke. So then there was um, BERT, which is a bidirectional encoder representations for transformers. And um, yeah, so there's all these Sesame Street characters and, and BERT or the transformer is the the foundational architecture that's powering gpt so it's just uh yeah kind of cool you've got like er Ernie, Kermit, big bird like yeah all these language models named after sesame street <laughs> um uh mass well, problem wrong with it mass problems you we just okay last question here if you ask a chat bot something like write a poem which doesn't rhyme and it doesn't do a good job does it know it messed up jim said i don't remember what you said I said, uh, a forest in the field is a fun <laughs> way to frolic. <laughs> Does it know it messed up, Sorry. Catherine? <laughs> well, you said yes, so I gave you a point for that. Yeah, um, I mean, of course, it doesn't know anything. But uh, yeah, if you if you ask it and, and it, it messes up, you can say, like, did you meet the brief? And, um, and yeah, there's a good chance it will look and say, no, I'm sorry, and it will try again. You're a robot apologist. You're like this. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't know it messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you're always like oh it's just sitting there not doing maths like a, like it's like a blob amorphous no it's bloody it's coming to kill you um did you do another joke here did you yeah i wrote three but i think the best one here is yeah, just choose one of them uh write a joke and style jim jeffries about his co-host for a shaw all right uh, oh yeah i'll do it so it's funny fun. to see what chat gpt <laughs> thinks you are for us yeah, okay oh, it's sad doesn't know me <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> About my co-host Forrest Shaw, right? I do say right. Every time I watch my special, right, right. <laughs> I fucking love that. Uh, I hate that. Let me tell you about my co-host Forrest Shaw, right? We call him Forrest, but he's about as wild as a sloth on Valium. I've seen glaciers <laughs> move faster than this guy. <laughs> we were hanging out the other day and I asked him, Forrest, yep. have you ever tried adrenaline? What? <laughs> Okay. Maybe a shot of Red Bull or something. He looked at me like I suggested we go base jumping off a skyscraper. Nah, I'll, mate, I'm good. He, he says, mate, now Forrest says, mate. <laughs> yeah, when nah, I'm around you, I'll say it. Yeah. Nah, oh, no, no, now I say, nah, mate, I'm good. I like my heart rate at a steady... Oh, no, this is Forrest saying, okay. Yeah. Nah, mate, I'll, I'll do it in the voice. Nah, mate, I'm good. <laughs> I, I, I like my heart rate at a steady... Library science silent level. Yep. Forrest is so laid back. <laughs> <laughs> I bet if he was any more chill, yep. he'd be a snow cone. <laughs> that sounds like your material. I once tried to get him to do a shot of espresso and he treated it like I was asking him to slaughter a line of wasabi. Oh, no, Jim, that's far too intense for my delicate palate. in my voice. Oh, no, Jim, I'm far too intense for my delicate palate. <laughs> I prefer the gentle caress of chamomile tea. It's forest all day. <laughs> but, you know, despite his zen-like demure, Forrest has a dark side. He's got this stare that can make a puppy question its life choices. It's like he's silently judging you for enjoying life. That's true. That one's accurate. Uh, uh, I'll go with oh, <laughs> oh, you want to have fun? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, save that. I wonder if that's a bumper sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I love Forrest, though. He's like a human embodiment of a sleepy koala. You just want him to, but you just want to pat him on the head and say, it's okay, mate. Life's happening around you. But you just keep being tr your tranquil self. <laughs> we'll all be over here living in fast forward. But you do you. Now, note in brackets. <laughs> That's another note, yeah, another guardrail. The rail. response is a fictional and humorous depiction of the style of Jim Jeffries, and it's essential to consider the context and the audience when sharing such content. Uh, um, yeah, 
Oh, you want to... Wait, wanna, what's the thing? You want to have oh, fun? you want to have fun? How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> that, was very, how dare that, you. Was, that was very uh, Greta Thunberg-y. <laughs> well, that's, you want to have fun? How dare you? We're, we're pretty close. <laughs> oh, uh, I forgot about you. Is Greta, is, Greta, is, is Greta AI or is she a real person? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should true. know. You know about Greta. She hangs around where you are. She runs around there. Is Greta, is Greta real? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. All right. All right. If I was a fellow robot, I would say that. But yeah, she is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can't trust you her. You don't think that she might be a lizard under there? No, but you know there are people who think she's a time traveler, right? Because there is this old photo that does look exactly like her. So. No, it's just because back in the day, people looked like Greta Thunberg. <laughs> so, back in the day, they didn't have telly and all that type of stuff, so they always looked grumpy with a scowl on their face. Everyone 200 years ago looked like Greta Thunberg. <laughs> You've been working out in the field with just a donkey and a spade all day. You'll come back looking like Greta. <laughs> Um, now is a part of our show called... In Din Attitude. She's very <laughs> nice. Girl. Called Dinner Party Facts. We ask our expert to give us a fact, something obscure, interesting, they can use to impress people. What do you got for us, Catherine? Yeah. Um, okay, so ChatGPT has um, read about 300 billion words in its training data. Mm. And to put that in perspective, if you read a, a novel, a 100,000-word novel, every day for 80 years, so mm. a whole lifetime, you will have read... 2.92 billion words. So that's less than 1% of what ChatGPT has read. What? So. Uh, how, is yeah. it, how is there that many words? Because I reckon I use about 60. No, it's like all the stuff, <laughs> all the all the books and everything. Not all oh, the words. Yeah, just all the words. I'm oh, not just different words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not as impressive. Yeah, the dictionary it's still impressive. Nah, it's not as, it's not as In impressive. In one lifetime, you can only read 1% of it. I thought word. there was 2 billion different words. 300 billion. Yeah. You psychophobe. Okay. What? Yeah, you're it's, a it's not even that in one li one lifetime you could read one percent because no one can read a hundred thousand word novel every single day. So, yeah, of course. like, yeah, it's I, it is uh, feasible. It's just a way to try to wrap your head around these crazy. I numbers. haven't read one. Yeah, you yeah. Read, it's hard read to read couple. one one hundred. Oh, Back to the Future was probably a hundred thousand words, right? Back to the Future two. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. No, you, you read, read the that. novelization <laughs> of the movie. Back to the Future 2, the book. It's one of the few books Jim's read. <laughs> I was so excited about Back to the Future 2, and it was still six months before it was going to come out to Australia, and you Americans had already seen it. We used to have to wait for the canisters of film to arrive oh, in Australia. Really? Right? So we saw films after you guys were done with them. If it yeah. stayed in the cinema for too long, we'd never see the fucking thing. <laughs> the film's all, like, beat up. Yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so, I, so there was a book of Back to the Future 2, and I was reading it like this. What? He goes into a cafe, and Ronald Reagan's on a screen. What's going on? <laughs> well, make sure to- Pepsi just popped out of the table. Make sure to follow Catherine on Twitter or X Can't at Catherine see. A. Munro on Medium at Catherine A. Munro, Substack blog Beyond the Buzzwords at CatherineMunro.substack.com and check out her book, the hand or co-author of the, she's co-author of this book, The Handbook of Data Sciences and AI. You can find it on Amazon and I'm sure other places. Catherine, thanks for being here. Thank you so much, Catherine. We really appreciate it. Thanks for being on twice. A, a jewel, I don't know about that. -a. Yep. All right, if you're ever at a party, someone comes up to you and goes, hey, uh, that AI is not going to take over the world and kill us. You go, I don't know about that. Walk away. Trust me, people. Our <laughs> days are numbered. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Australia.